Hi, I'm Steve, and welcome to Patriot Bars. Today I'm going to take you from this to this. Whether you're a gym owner or just putting this in garage gym, there's a few things you need to know. First off, hand tools are recommended. Affirmative. Impact tools are not recommended. A buddy is recommended to safely hold the components in place while you bolt them on. And now that we have that out of the way, let's rock and roll. First off, your new Patriot pull-up bar will arrive in six separate boxes. Make sure you have all six before you begin. You should also have received a welcome packet containing assembly instructions and also some cool decals. Now I know how much you all love reading assembly instructions, or well, maybe not. For now, we'll just set these aside. But seriously, I encourage you not to throw them away. You'll probably need them later. Ready? Let's charge right into it. Grab the longest rectangular box first. This contains the main posts. Make sure you open the boxes carefully, preferably with a box cutter, by just carefully slicing open the tape. Don't wildly stab into a box with a knife that's too big. You might scratch the powder coat. Now that you have the main posts out of the box, just set them aside. Grab the smaller of the large rectangular boxes next. These contain the feet. Open the box and set the feet aside. Open either of the two smaller rectangular boxes next. One will contain the cross member, the other will contain the top bar. This is the cross member. This is the top bar. Finally, the only two boxes that are left are the two small square boxes. You know the drill. Carefully cut open both boxes and set the components aside. One box will contain the plate hold down brackets and your other box will contain four triangle brackets and two bags of hardware. Also your plastic caps. This box contains four plate hold down brackets. Each of these small boxes contains two plate hold down brackets. This is a plate hold down bracket. You should have four of them. Now that we have everything out of the box, let's begin assembly. Start by grabbing both feet. Take a plastic cap and a rubber mallet and gently tap one plastic cap into the end of each foot. Or you can just karate hand them in. Don't tap the plastic caps into the main post just yet. Those caps must go in after the unit is assembled. Grab the cross member and position it on the ground between the two feet. Next, you'll need four bolts, four nuts, and four washers out of the hardware bag. Connect the two feet to the cross member like so. Tighten everything down good and snug. Remember to do this by hand. If you try to impact this together, you could chip the powder coat. Each foot has two holes towards the middle. This is where the triangle brackets go. The triangle brackets hold up the main post. With one triangle bracket on each side of each foot and the main post sandwiched in the middle. You'll need four bolts, four nuts, and four washers for each side of the Patriot bar. This is where it's a good idea to have a buddy with you. The buddy can hold up the main posts while you bolt on the triangle brackets and later the top bar. It is possible to assemble the Patriot bar by yourself, but use extreme caution. You don't want the main post to accidentally fall over and hit something or someone. Secure each bolt with a washer and nut, but do not tighten them all the way down at this point. Do the exact same thing on the other side with the remaining main post the remaining two triangle brackets. Grab the top bar. The top bar can be installed at any one of three different heights. Again, this is a great time to have a buddy around to help you, or maybe a clone of yourself or a twin. You'll need two nuts, two bolts, and two washers for each side of the top bar. We're almost ready to tighten everything down. The next part is a little bit confusing, but don't get frustrated. Now we're gonna tighten all the nuts and all the bolts going through the main posts in the triangle brackets, as well as the main posts in the top bar. However, we're gonna tighten them in a crisscross fashion. First, we'll do this, then we'll do this, then we'll do this, and then we'll go here. For best results, tighten the triangle bracket nuts like so. Side, top, side, middle. It's best to tighten each section gradually, little by little. That way, if your floor is uneven, the Patriot bar can settle down to the floor. 
If your floor is very uneven or sloped, like many residential garages are, you'll need to shim up the uneven side. The best way to do that is toolbox drawer liner, which is available at all major hardware stores. Simply cut off some toolbox liner, and wedge it under whatever piece of the Patriot Bar is sitting unevenly. I know you're anxious to start cranking out reps, but hold off, we're almost ready. Grab the four plate hold down brackets. Two plate hold down brackets go on each side of both main posts. The plate hold down brackets can be used to store any standard Olympic weight plate or to hang resistance bands, or a dip belt. Gently tap the remaining plastic caps into the top of each main post. Now it's time to apply the decals of your choice to your new Patriot Bar, or you can leave them off if you prefer it slick. Rub the surface of the Patriot Bar with a little bit of rubbing alcohol to remove any dust or oil where you intend to put the decal. Place the decals 21 inches down from the top of the main post if you purchase the Patriot Bar low ceiling height and 22 inches down from the top of the main post if you purchase the Patriot Bar standard issue. Make sure you put your decals with a P on the bottom. That way the words and the flag are shown properly. Well that's it folks, your Patriot Bar is assembled and fully operational. If you don't have a Patriot Bar yet, head on over to PatriotBars.com we also sell grip strength products too, so while you're there, check those out. Questions or comments? Need support? Leave them below. Top comment after one week wins a free Patriot Bars t-shirt. Don't forget to push that like button. This is Steve from Patriot Bars signing off. Train hard and God bless America.